Hello, Carpet Cleaning World. This is your administrator, Roger Lloyd. Just want to make sure everything is working properly here. The last time I did this, I went live, and for some reason, it just wasn't working. But it seems like we're we're okay. So, I want to share with you. We have Thanksgiving coming next week. Another year has passed, and we were blessed. I know it doesn't seem like we were blessed this year, but we really were, because a lot of us didn't make it. A lot of us got sick, but then the rest of us are still here. And a lot of us, if we worked hard and we continued to market and did what we needed to do, we were able to make a, a living still when a lot of other industries, especially the restaurant industries and things like that, they suffered and then they ended. Well, as you can read tonight on these Friday Night Insights of mine, Roger Lloyd, it says the topic is why you need to be experienced in all methods of carpet cleaning. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to tell you my experience first. I live here on the East Coast in Pennsylvania, in a little suburb in Pennsylvania. And in the winter months, starting normally at the end of December, maybe the beginning of January, whatever, I notice that people don't want to get their carpets clean because they don't want to have their they have their house wet up. They don't want their floors wet. Even if it's for a couple hours time or whatever, they just don't want it. They don't want you tracking all the hoses in. And it's just a mess. It's difficult, especially when we have weather like um, snow or 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 severe winds or rains. It's just a mess to try to go in there and steam clean the carpets. But there's another way. There's another way. They came up with very low moisture, VLM. With very low moisture and doing it properly, you can make a very good job happen. Now, I'm going to tell you, I wasn't always of of a believer in very low moisture. But I have done a couple jobs now with my CRB machine and my um Eco 13. I prefer the CRB because of the brushing agitation on residential carpet. I like the Eco 13 uh, that I use from Mighty, the vibrating oscillating machine. I like that for commercial carpet cleaning. But this is why you need to be experienced in all methods of carpet cleaning. This is why throughout the weeks when I'm doing different types of jobs, I show you my different equipment. I show you the different methods of cleaning. There are so many new people that have joined the carpet cleaning world, this Facebook group in the last couple months, that people are coming into our industry by the drones. So you better be experienced. You better know what's out here and how to use it and what works. Because like I just told you, over here on the East Coast, I'm not going to be able to do that much hot water extraction after next month. Nor do I want to because it's hard and it's a mess. Then I have to worry about my pump freezing up on my truck mount. It's just a mess. But with very low moisture and using the right type of cleaning agents, and knowing how to do it, I can do a very good job. So if you say, oh, well, I just do very low moisture cleaning, that's just a start for you. You still got to get a portable or hopefully you'll graduate to a truck mount. Or if you're a truck mount or hot water extraction guy and you say, oh, I would never touch a um, VLM, VLM machine. Well, you're wrong there, too. You need to be able to do very low moisture. So it makes sense. So you can get in those high rise hallways in those communities and so forth. 
Sometimes you just don't need all that hot water extraction to do it. I know it, it does a better sanitary job, but you don't always need that for these commercial jobs, especially if they want you there on a regular basis. It's so much easier to go in and do very low moisture, plus it's time consuming and all the other good things that go with it. But that being said, I'm still a hot water extraction guy. Well, I guess that's not true anymore. I'm a hot water extraction guy and I'm a very low moisture guy because I do what needs to be done. Now, in the upcoming months, I'm going to be advertising very low moisture. Why am I going to be doing that? Because it's winter time. People still need to get their carpets clean. But I'm going to explain to them that we have a system for carpet cleaning that will still do a good job on getting their carpets cleaned and appearance wise, but it's not going to wet up everything and it, it'll be instantaneously dry with by the time I leave. They'll like that as long as I can go in there and do a good job. Now for all you hot water extraction guys, you're probably saying, oh yeah, well what if they have a cat pee stain or a dog stain? How are you going to get that out? Well, I'm very glad you asked. They do have products, a peroxide product called OS1. That's a peroxide that will eat up the alkaline salts in uh, pet urine. So that still works. Yeah, I'm going to have to spray that down. And you know what? Next week, I'm going to do a whole video on how I do a very low moisture job how I'm going to take care of the spots, how I'm going to apply the encapsulation product. And I'm even going to show you how we pre-treat those pet stains on very low moisture jobs. And the carpet is going to come out great. It's going to smell good because we use our deodorizers and it's going to look good. And the spots are going to be gone. And it can be achieved with very low moisture. Now, that being said, if they have a dog that just went all through the house and the house stinks by the time you get to the front door, well, yeah, you're going to have to get them later on in the, in the spring season. You're going to have to do a hot water extraction so you can get all that urine out from the backing of the carpet. But that being said, I know there's a lot of you, especially the new people in this group that are asking about pet odor products or how to deal with pet odors. I just want to show you one thing. I know you guys are already familiar with my oxidizer, the BioClean Kid Friendly Cleaner. This really works. It really brightens up those stains, brown stains, pet stains, and gets them gone. Plus, it kills the microorganisms. Now, this Right here, the oxidizer combined with my new released pet treatment, the Kid Friendly Cleaner Lavender Vanilla Pet Treatment. I know what you're saying right now. Lavender Vanilla, let me tell you something right here. When the ladies smell this after they've been smelling the cat or dog pee, and then it has the peroxide and everything in it to eat up the pet stains. This right here that takes care of the pet stain coupled with my BioClean Ox... Let me turn it around, my fault. My BioClean Oxidizer, this right here, the BioClean system, this will take care of just about any pet situation you have for hot water extraction. But that's if you haven't, if you're dealing with pet stains and pet problems, or if you want to know about a new remedy to try to get those pet stains and uh, uh, carpets brighter. That's my product. You can call the office, the numbers at the top of the post, and you can order you some. The uh, Kid Friendly Cleaner Oxidizer is $37.50. Um, the pet treatment is thirty-five fifty. 
So you can have your combination and you can really get you uh, get you a real system that really cleans up those pet situations that you're going to encounter. But ladies and gentlemen, next week, I'm going to do a job right before Thanksgiving with my low moisture method using the um, Austrian CRB machine. I think Reg Rogers makes them out of South Carolina. He's from Austria, the real Austrian CRB machine. The reason why I like that machine, in case you want to know, is because it's made very sturdy. It's made very sturdy. A CRB machine is is almost a must-have. You want to have a CRB machine. For those of you that are new, that don't know what a CRB machine is, it's a counter-rotating brush machine. And what it does is it really agitates the carpet to bring the dirt loose. So when you come back behind it with a hot water uh, extraction device, whether it's a portable or truck mount, it just, it's like that's the, um, the Cadillac or the Mercedes of carpet cleaning. I mean, you, you CRB it, first of all, you apply the right products. You put a good oxidizer down. You put a good, um, uh, if you have, if it's heavily soiled, you put something down for the soil. And if it has pet stains, well, then you put something down for the pet stains. And, and it gets it up. Then you want to use your CRB. And you want to take your time. You want to make love to that carpet. You want to take your time with your CRB and go up and down, up and down, back and forth till you actually see the chemical really getting in between the fibers where it's loosening up the dirt. Nine times out of 10, once you do a few strokes with your CRB, if you pre-treated it right, you will already see the fibers come in lighter. Now, if that's all you're going to do and you're not doing any hot water extraction, you really want to take your time. But you have two sets of, um, and you had a trays and then you had a slides to put on the CRB. So the first thing that I'm, well, I'm going to show you next week, I'm going to do a whole video on how to do very low moisture, well, at least how I do it. After we agitate everything in, all the little fuzzies pop up because it really digs in between the fibers and it brings all the loose fibers and dander, if it's dog dander, cat dander, it brings it all to the surface in little fuzz buddies and it pops out the CRB. So then you have these trays on the CRB for the CRB. You take off the slide ends and you put on the trays. And then you just go over it again. Now you got all the fuzzies off and you're giving the carpet a second agitation, which is really suspending that soil and the encapsulation cleaner. Now, for the next so many months, while your customer vacuums their carpets, they're going to, the encapsulation cleaner is going to keep encapsulating the dirt, which is cool. So every time they, uh, in theory, vacuum their carpet, they're pulling up more dirt. They're pulling up more soil until the encapsulation cleaner wears off. By that time, it's time for you to come back out there and clean the carpets again. And this is how you want to explain it to your clients. Now, if you have a customer that carpets are just damned from the start, you want to you want to do a hot water extraction, but if you have a customer, a client that keeps their carpets up, then you can go in there with the very low moisture. You don't have to drag hoses. I would recommend that you use a battery operated uh, backpack sprayer to apply your end cap solutions. If you need have any questions, I can recommend you one, a professional one that I use. It really works great. When I show you the very low moisture video next week, you will see the professional back 
sprayer that we use to apply our cleaning agents and our encapsulation cleaners. And it works great and the customers love it. And then of course they're going to be skeptical at first because they're used to hoses. People are going to be like, oh, where are your hoses at? You're not going to vacuum every anything. This is where you have to take a minute. And I know carpet cleaners don't like to do it. You guys just want to get down to cleaning. You feel in your mind for some reason that you're special, that you don't have to excel or you don't have to explain or you don't have to edge clean is the terminology I coined three years ago. Well, you do because they don't know. All they know is your truck says carpet clean or your video on Facebook said carpet clean or whatever. Maybe on your truck it says very low moisture. They don't know what that means. They understand that it's probably going to be a little bit of moisture. It's not going to be as wet. But do they really understand what that means? Do they understand about encapsulation cleaning, how you're encapsulating the dirt and it's a polymer-based chemical that encapsulates the dirt and they just, every time they vacuum their carpet, technically they're cleaning their carpet till it wears off? Do you take the time? Do you want to explain that to them? No, you don't. But if you did, what will happen is your customers would appreciate you and they would know that you're knowledgeable and most of all, read the topic once again at the bottom here. Why you need to be experienced in all methods of carpet cleaning. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to say this to all of you. If you don't have a good supply of clients calling you back, when you do a text blast to your customer base, if you do an email blast to your customer base and no one is calling you back or very few are calling you back, you didn't leave a good experience. You did not leave a good experience. Do you understand the value of a lifetime client? Well, this is why we have the Carpet Cleaning World University where we explain all this to you where we break it down. This is important stuff. Oh, let me tell you, this is my son. Give me a minute. I'm sorry, that's that's my son. And anyway, I want you to understand that you need to be experienced in all methods of carpet cleaning. Stop telling yourself, not anyone else, Stop telling yourself that you're um you're a very low moisture carpet clean. Stop telling yourself that you're um a hot water extractor. Tell yourself you're a carpet cleaner. If you're a car salesman, you sell all types of cars. Or unless you put a title on it. Oh, I'm a Cadillac car salesman. I'm a Mercedes car salesman. But if you're a used car salesman, you sell all types of cars. And that's what you have to feel about carpet cleaning, especially if you want to make it in the new pandemic era. You know, I haven't made too many videos lately, and that wasn't by accident or design, that's because I've been busy, ladies and gentlemen. This pandemic hasn't hurt me. You see Johnny Johnson and the rest of them, they tell you the phone constantly ringing is a good problem to have. How many of you can actually say that your phone is constantly ringing? How many can you say, oh, I just sent an email blast to all my existing clients and my schedule's booked up for the next three or four weeks? Well, this is what you got to work on. You can't just worry about cleaning. You got to work on making sure you have all your I's dotted and your T's crossed. You want to have a CRM system with all your customers in it so you can do an email blast. You want to have a system with all their phone numbers in it so you can do a text blast. You want to do this. This is the only way you can say that you're running a carpet cleaning business. 
All right. We talked about 20 minutes tonight. I just wanted to come back in. I wanted to wish everyone a happy and safe Thanksgiving. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, I know we're used to having a whole lot of family over and we used to really celebrate. You got to think smart this year. Yeah, we just got some good news that there might be an emergency vaccine next month or whatever, but we're not going to get it till like next summer. I want you to keep that in mind. So if you want to have the kids over, the grandkids, kids coming home from college and things like that, I want you to think twice. My kids, so you don't think I'm just a hypocrite, my kids are coming to the door to pick up a plate. We're going to get what we call air hugs. What's an air hug, you ask? When you look at the person through the door, through the screen, and you do like this and say, I love you, and wave to them. And make sure that they stand back six feet or more when you put the plate out the door so they can get their plate of Thanksgiving dinner. You know, we all, we survived this year. And I thank God for it. A lot of positive things have happened to me this year. I got a new truck. I got a new area road cleaning facility. We did some big things. We did some big things in the pandemic of 2020. I don't blame this on any one man. And I'm, I don't think you should either. This wasn't one man's thing or fault. We all had to deal with this. And as a nation, we dealt with it. I am Roger Lloyd, the admin of the Carpet Cleaning World, and I appreciate each and every one of you for being in this group. I appreciate each and every one of you that contribute in this group. I also want to give a special thanks to Johnny Johnson, Mark Johnson, and Janae Raleigh Lloyd, the moderators that helped me keep this group in check. This is an information hotline for the carpet cleaning industry. That's it. There are many other groups that you can join if you want to look at half-naked pictures of women, if you want to curse and be vile and insult new cleaners to the industry, but you won't do it here. And if I catch you, you're gone. Now, I know what you might say. Oh, I don't care. Good. Well, delete yourself now, so save you the embarrassment. Or, or help the new members by giving them some constructive criticism and tell them, save them from the pitfalls that you made in your beginning years. Be positive in the carpet cleaning world. This is Roger Lloyd. It's up to you. It always was. And it always will be. Now, what are you going to do about it that's going to make the difference? I will see you one more time next week before Thanksgiving to show you how to do a professional, very low moisture carpet cleaning job. So as you embark on the winter months, if you're in the colder regions like I am, you can put your truck mount hoses away for the winter and still residentially and commercially make a good living for you and your family. And then in the spring, we open up, we'll open up again with the hot water extraction. And then if you're over there on the West Coast or around the world somewhere where you really don't see the colder months, then hop at it. Do what you have at it. Do what you have to do to stay positive and keep marketing. Never stop marketing. There's so many arrogant 
contaminated cleaners that say, oh, I don't market anymore and my, my schedule stays busy. Don't fall for the hype. If they have letters on the side of their truck and they're riding down the street, they're advertising. If they send a text blast to any of their existing clients, they're advertising. If they have a work shirt on that says Jim's Carpet Cleaning, they're advertising. Really right now? Did I really even have to tell you that? But if you're new in this industry and you want help and you want to be successful, I invite you to join the Carpet Cleaning World University, where I get much more in depth in everything that I talk about. I have guests that come in to the Carpet Cleaning World University to help you do one thing. Make a successful business for yourself. Now, I'm not saying in any way, shape, or form, don't go to the IICRC classes. They are the certifying body that really teaches you how to use the equipment and what methods do what. Yeah, I could do that too, but I don't want to do that. That They already have that locked down. They'll give you a little piece of paper to make you feel good about yourself. That piece of paper is not going to get you no new clients, but it'll make you feel better about yourself. It'll make you have the confidence when you go into these commercial and residential jobs that you know what you're doing. Now, there's an after part that the, where the CRC leaves off after they teach you and certify you on how to do everything. That's when you need to come to the Carpet Cleaning World University so you'll learn. Now that you can clean it, let me help teach you how to sell it. Anyone that has talked to me for a good 10 to 20 minutes know. I'm your guy when it comes to selling this stuff. Not only do I know how to clean it, I know how to turn the cleaning words into selling words that you can use that will help you get higher job tickets and many more jobs than you ever have seen before. That's what I'm here for. And that's what the Carpet Cleaning World University will help do for you. For the last time, I'm Roger Lloyd, the admin of the Carpet Cleaning World, and I appreciate you for being a part of the Carpet Cleaning World. You take care now. Until next week, this is Roger Lloyd, and this is Friday Night, and these are my insights. You take care now.